seven-time Canadian and three-time world figure skating champion Alva Stoiko stopped by our city this weekend to spend some time with the Lethbridge Figure Skating Club. Young skaters learn new exercises to improve their technique and develop a good foundation as athletes. And it wasn't solely little girls. When Will Smith put his daughters in figure skating a few years ago, he couldn't resist trying it too. It was kind of fun getting them going and, and then I just found it fun too, skating the music. So here I am in my past my mid-sixties and learning how to do the axle with Elvis. Will is working on his single axle, the jump that opens skaters up to a series of double jumps. Though he has yet to land one, Will is determined to master the jump. And he wasn't the only one who learned something new about this element. I learned the takeoff on my axle, which is the jump that I'm working on. The athletes will skate away with lots of new info, and so will the coaches. I have a phone full of videos ready to take back to the ice this week and practice with the skaters. His technique is top-notch. He is one of the best in the world. Stoiko retired from his competitive career in 2006 and has since been teaching seminars across the country. Even in his 40s, Stoiko still nails triple jumps for shows like Stars on Ice. But he's also been busy with some other things. My main focus for career-wise, that's sort of what I do financially, still love doing it. Uh, busy at acting school, uh, doing a film. We just finished shooting a film, uh, and a horror film, a uh, creature feature we just did at the beginning of the year. So I'm busy doing that, going to school in Toronto. And uh, we're just doing some independent stuff and just focused on that part of my career as well. Stoiko is not only a seasoned actor, but has a background in martial arts, race car driving, and a love for fitness and nutrition. It seems, though, that this man of many talents won't be leaving the skating world anytime soon. Stoiko was teaching a skating seminar in Calgary last week, and the Lethbridge Club asked him to swing down before flying back to Toronto. I just don't want to throw information at them, so, you know, it's, it's all about trying to translate the information in a way that they're going to be open to it instead of just here's the information. Local skaters will have lots to work on to prepare for their next big thing, a competition here at home the first weekend of February. For Bridge City News, I'm Josie Foster.